Hello, Shabab. So, in part 16, I was talking about a very, very, perhaps the most important concept in view. Now, I want to explain what I meant. Because we are now in task details page. And as you can see, we have a property tasks. A property always task starts with colon and then the name. As you can see, this is how we communicate or pass data from parent because this is the parent. It holds a task details card. This is the child and gives the data task. So the data comes from the parent, from the parent here, task details page to the child task details card via a property. This is parent from child via property to the data communication, that the data sending. Uh, now let's look from child to parent. From child to parent, it's task create form. What we have here, we have defined, for instance, we have defined an emit, create new task, and we're emitting something. Where? From task create form to task create page. And there you see it. And this is, let me just uh, close everything except for task create form. So from, from child to parent, we have emit, we have an event. We are emitting things from child to parent, task create form to task create page. And here we have the add symbol for the emit stuff. And here we have the create task and here we are doing things. So data comes from the child to the parent via an emit and always use a add. And when you passing from, from parent to child, always a colon and you do it with property. So just to summarize it again, from child to parent, it's always a property with a colon. And from parent to child, it's always an emit starting with an add symbol. This is the most important concept I would say in view. And this is something I want to stress out because yeah, you should, this is, this is something you should always remember. Okay, now let's see. I mean, let me just check if the server is running. Let me, uh, okay, server is running. Okay, this is running. Okay, but now let just, let us just control C, stop the web server. What we are doing now is we are creating a new path, of course. So let's duplicate this and adapt it. Uh, here we just say tasks and I would say slash colon ID. This is of course task detail view. This is of course task uh, task details page. And yeah, that should be it. So let us start the dev server pnpf dev. Okay, starting right now, let's go in here, localhost, let's refresh. Always make sure you inspect things. Console, refresh again. Okay. I hope the server is really running. I mean, now the on render server, okay. As you can see, we have couple of tasks in here. Now we should be able to click on it and see the details. And voila, we see, we are seeing it. As you can see, task with ID one, description, create on, priority low, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to another task, like falafel, task ID seven, description and blah, blah. As you can see, we have here on the upper left corner, task detail. Here we can click on back. Task four, yeah. <laughs> funny thing, description test four and ID four, okay. It was, was random, was not 
on purpose and uh, same should be on hummus you know id6 by hummus blah blah, blah. And we can also use this back button and it works as well and falafel or this back button okay and we have no errors in the console log and this is good okay we are done with task details as you can see uh, we just caching things with pioneer uh, task object because i would highly recommend to always uh, try to reduce your network calls cache on the front and also as much as you can because yeah if you are if you are hosting your application on aws or microsoft asia or google cloud platform it could be a little bit you know expensive especially when you're not caching data properly and so on and so forth for not using how's it called uh sql views and yeah so yeah task details are done listing all tasks is also done creating a task is also done and let's see what we're going to do next i think we will do the edit task or the delete task yeah but so see you in the next video